Hi there, my name is Anastasia and I'm a developer at Sparkbox. Sparkbox is researching and comparing many of the different accessibility tools out there to help developers choose the best tool for the job. No tool is ever perfect and each project has unique things that mean a tool that's great for one person isn't necessarily right for you. In this video, I'm gonna go over a tool we gave one of the highest ratings to, the Axe Browser extension. If you want to scan a website for accessibility issues, the Axe Browser extension is a great free accessibility tool for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. To install this plugin, I'll click on the Install Axe for Chrome button, and then I'll click Add to Chrome, and then click Add Extension. You should now see the Axe logo here in your browser extension area. In another tab, I have the NASA astronauts website, which Sparkbox created with accessibility issues for testing each accessibility tool. To open the Axe browser extension, right click anywhere and then select inspect. From here, I can see the Axe tab. To scan this website for accessibility issues, you'll wanna click the analyze button. When you run this for the first time, it will give you a helpful pop-up about saving the results and gaining access to the guided accessibility tests that are found in Axe Beta. If we take a look, we'll see that Axe found 31 issues. For the first issue, there were 10 issues with elements must have sufficient color contrast. To dig deeper into this issue, on the right side, you can see the location and source code for each issue. You can do things like inspect the node for the element that doesn't have sufficient color contrast, or you could highlight the element that doesn't have sufficient color contrast. You can also use these arrow buttons on the right to navigate through each of the issues. And here you'll see that it's highlighting each element that's having a problem with sufficient color contrast. This panel also has a more info link which takes you to the DeCue University website with more information on the problem and how to solve it. The Axe browser extension is based on these Axe core rules, and you can find them in the GitHub repository for Axe core. You scroll down in their README, you'll find a section here that's called the accessibility rules. And if you click on doc rule descriptions, you'll see there's a list of WCAG 2.0 and WCAG 2.1, and they also have a list of rules for best practices. So as far as some of the strengths for this extension is that it's open source. It's continuously being improved upon and anybody can go and contribute if they feel like it. As far as limitations goes, the user of this extension has to go and rerun the analyzer for each individual page. So if you were to fix an issue on a different page, you'd have to go back to that page and run the analyzer again. So you can imagine if you're scanning a website with many pages, how it can be very time consuming to find accessibility issues. Overall, this is a great tool because anyone can use it. It's very easy to understand and it has detailed descriptions of the problems and how to solve them. If you're looking for more accessibility tools, check out our playlist with more accessibility tool reviews. For a full breakdown of the Axe browser extension, look for my Foundry article linked in the description below.